Trackers of Faith, featuring Duke and Luke, the Barn Brothers, Penny, the cold cracking tech savvy gal who is quick on her feet, Walker, the big hearted handyman who uses his mechanical know how to lend a helping hand, Jenny, the fun loving biblical brains of the operation, and Milton. This super sassy swine has been fitted with the latest in animal communication technology. Join this crew of high-tech heroes as they sow truth, know truth, and grow truth. Tractors of Faith! I'm so excited! Are you guys ready to get going? Absolutely. This is a treat for me. I'm excited too. Thanks for inviting us, Miss Hilda. Of course. It's lovely to get to know some of Penny's amigos. So, what are we doing today? Well, every week back home, I would spend an afternoon in the kitchen and make bread and cookies and brownies and cinnamon rolls and other goodies, and I would take them around and share them at different places in the community. I want to keep it up while I'm visiting, but I don't know the area very well. I need some help finding places to deliver all these treats. Awesome. We have friends at a bunch of different places that would love this stuff. Aha. That's the trick. We can't deliver them to friends. We have to deliver them to people you either don't know or don't really get along with. Whoa, whoa. I'm not sure about that. I actually think I hear Luke calling me for help with something. I better go check. Not so fast there, Duke. I like this Miss Hilda. It's a Good Samaritan kind of idea. Exactly. That's exactly where I got the inspiration. The Good Samaritan? Of course. We used Penny's Parabolizer to check that one out last year. There are all kinds of amazing things that we can understand from that story Jesus told, but I think what you're getting at here is how Jesus uses the parable to define for us what a neighbor is. Jenny, do you mind if I refresh us on the story? Of course not. That would be great. Let me roll out the Parabolizer, too. Thanks. This is from Luke 10, by the way. Okay, so a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by the other side. Next, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But then, a Samaritan came where the man was. And when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out some money and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expenses you may have. The surprising thing about that story... And one of Jesus' big points is that the person who was a good neighbor to the beaten man was the Samaritan. The Jews who were listening to Jesus tell this parable wouldn't have liked that very much because the Samaritans were basically the enemies of the Jews. They would have felt much more comfortable if the good neighbor had been the priest or the Levite. But Jesus isn't trying to make us comfortable. And that's why we're going to give all these desserts to people we don't actually care to get to know. But Miss Hilda, no offense, because I think you're really fun, and I'm enjoying getting to know you, but what if this doesn't go well? What if they're mean or reject the gift? Wouldn't that hurt your feelings? That's always a risk. But over the years, I've discovered so much goodness from this little practice. People that I thought I had nothing in common with are actually much kinder than I had given them credit for. And it opened the door for me to share my faith in Jesus with them. Being willing to step into the uncomfortable and unfamiliar has created so many bridges that I'm beginning to really realize that everyone is my neighbor. And that is Jesus' point. Our neighbor isn't just someone who looks, talks, and thinks like us. Thanks for this reminder, Miss Hilda. Well, hello! Mm -mm. I knew it smelled like a party was happening in here! Sorry, buddy. These aren't for you. They're for all of our neighbors. Now let's head out. 